After India backed out of the FGFA program in 2018, Russia has been self-financing the production of Su-57 fighter jet, and as per latest media reports, Russia has now made the decision to fly the Su-57 to Vietnam for displaying the aircraft at the Vietnam Defense Expo 2022 from 8 December. Vietnamese Air Force is searching for a fifth-generation fighter, and Vietnamese pilots are likely to be approved by Russia to get access to Russian Su-57 fifth-generation fighter jet. Boeing will soon announce a partnership with Hindustan Aeronautics and Mohindra Defence Systems, and a memorandum of understanding with the two Indian firms will be signed at the upcoming Aero India 2023 for the manufacturing of F-15EX Eagle II fighter jet in India, if it wins the Indian Air Force's MRFA competition. The US Air Force has ordered 144 F-15EX, and Boeing has said that the F-15EX will be 33% cheaper than the French Rafale, and is able to carry 22 air-to-air -air missiles, and features world's fastest mission computers, upgraded AESA radar and avionics advanced electronic warfare suite and improved situational awareness. The Indian Navy plans to upgrade its existing submarines with the latest lithium-ion battery system, that will also be used on 12 conventional attack submarines that are planned to be built under Project 76. Looking at the growing demand, Bharat Forge has signed a collaboration deal with the US firm General Atomics Electromagnetic Systems Group for the development of lithium-ion battery systems for the Indian Navy. The lithium-ion battery system will first be integrated on the Scorpion-class submarines, followed by Russian Kilo-class submarines, and will later make its way into Project 76 submarines. The two companies have also agreed to partner in the area of permanent magnet motors, which is a very promising concept for the submarine propulsion motor, as it is small highly efficient and low in signatures. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited will display a scale model of the upcoming Hindustan lead-in fighter trainer at the Aero India 2023, also known as HLFT-42 aircraft, that is being developed as a low-cost lead-in fighter trainer to compete in international markets against Korean FA-50 and Chinese JL-10. The HLFT-42 single-engine fighter features eyelet-style variable exhaust, with a front nose section long enough to have a tandem seat cockpit, that can accommodate very small-sized fire control radar system. It will be an all-metal aircraft to reduce cost, and will be powered likely by the F-404 engine or cavalry engine. The Indian Navy is closely watching the Loyal Wingman program that is being developed by Hindustan Aeronautics for the Indian Air Force, as it is interested in acquiring a deck-based Loyal Wingman, that can participate in operations along with manned aircraft like the upcoming twin-engine deck-based fighter. The deck-based Twingman will require new design and additional features, as it needs to have undercarriage that can support takeoff and landings from an aircraft carrier, and ability to operate in heavy crosswinds and adverse conditions. Garden Reach shipbuilders will launch the first anti-submarine warfare shallow watercraft built for the Indian Navy on 16 December, and the 750-ton vessel will be capable of hunting down enemy submarines lurking close to India's coast, and will be able to detect mines and take necessary measures. The Indian Navy has ordered 16 such vessels, out of which 8 are being built by Garden Reach shipbuilders, and the remaining 8 are under construction at Cochin Shipyard Limited. Oh, my God.